Greetings, Pokéfans! Michael here, and Pokémon Scarlet and Violet are certain to have a bunch of new Pokémon. So I am going to make some of them. And by that I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna make some up. They're, they're not gonna be in the game, but I hope some similar ones are. I'm going to be designing one Pokémon for each of the 18 types, and the twist is that I'm gonna do it on the spot, right now, <laughs> with my limited artistic ability on a borrowed iPad. All right, procreate. Gonna see how this goes. First, we're gonna do normal. What is a what is a normal Pokemon? Normal type Pokemon are just uh, they're just animals. What's an animal that we don't have a Pokemon of yet, or one that we do but we could have more? An opossum. Aren't they marsupials? Yeah, opossums are one of the only marsupials in the Americas. Okay, they have pointy ears. Oh no, too pointy. Darle too pointy. As you can see, I am not. A digital artist. <laughs> okay, we got we got to give him a pink nose. But how do I make this like more than just a drawing of an opossum? This is going so well. Oh, I know. It's gonna have the pouch right there, which is not what possum pouches actually look like. But this is a Pokemon, so it's supposed to be different. How do you how do you fill? Ha! <laughs> and here's something I learned from Tauros to change it from an animal to a Pokemon. Just give it more than one tail. Oh wait, now this looks like a rat. Wait, I know what to do. Oh my God. Oh, oh God. I didn't, I didn't fill the lines. Art is hard. How do some of you do this? Where is the leak? But you weren't expecting Pokemon leak video. <laughs> Finally. Oh my God, that took so long. Maybe I should just do this. Wait, I just came up with a better idea. A, a really cool thing for this. Pokemon. Okay, so check this out. He's got a baseball mitt on one hand, and in the other hand, he's holding a bunch of berries or apples or some other kind of fruit that he keeps in his pouch because he's a marsupial, and his name, get ready for it, is Otossum. <laughs> Oh, that's very funny. I do think the baseball mitt is um a little much, but I feel like it helps. You know, I've talked a lot about how I really want a grass fire Pokemon. So I think I'm gonna use the fire type drawing to make the grass fire type I wanna make. I definitely think that a pepper is a really cool way to make a grass fire type. And so I'm making one that's a, that's a lizard, a lizard pepper, because I like lizards. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! I feel like there are people out here who've definitely made similar designs to this, um, but not exactly the same. Gotta have a cool eye. Well, this design was pretty simple, but I honestly think it looks really cool. <laughs> like if a professional drew it. It's not the best name, but I'm gonna call it Jalapeno. Oh, wait, that, no. Oh, wait, that sounds bad. How about we call this thing Kimono? Komodo from Komodo Dragon and Jalapeno. Or maybe Halamodo. One of those. Fighting! I feel like just some kind of ninja. We've definitely had ninja Pokemon before, but I feel like it'd be cool to have another one. But he's tiny. Why do I even try? I'm not sure what to make the accent colors, uh, so I guess I'll just go with blue and yellow and see how that looks. He's angry. <laughs> Where is, mm. I guess his hands should be blue. The blue guy wearing a combat outfit. Oh heck, did I just design sock? You know what, I've committed. How do I make this more like a Pokemon? Not just a cartoon person. I know. A smile. And it looks stupid. Ha ha, I design current tip boy. What's going on today? Well, the sponsor of this video is Raid Shadow Legends. The incredibly fun free to play RPG where you can fight your way through epic battles and collect over 600 champions. And that has me feeling nostalgic. They've been so supportive of us over the years ever since the first promo we did for them back in December of 2020. It's this really fun game that's actually the sponsor of this video, Raid Shadow Legends. Oh, we were so young. I hadn't even grown my fabulous beard. Uh, actually, Grunty Boy, that was not my first raid promo. What? What do you mean? My first promo for them was actually over three years ago, more than a year before you showed up for the first time. But before we dive into the memes, I'd like to take a bit to talk about the brand new mobile RPG game, Raid Shadow Legends. That's right, this video has a sponsor. You did promos without me? And why were you so excited about it? Well, before Raid became such a regular supporter of my channel, sponsorships were few and far between for me. 
Their support helped me invest more into the business. I will admit you have upgraded your equipment. Your camera quality in that old promo is way worse than now, and that desk looks very uncomfortable. Oh yeah, I now have this much nicer camera and a sit-stand desk. It's much better for ergonomics. I suppose your promo quality has evolved over the years, mainly because I'm now a part of it. Just like Raid has grown and evolved over the years. Right now they have a summer solstice event called Path of Light featuring branching paths with awesome new champions. There's also an event to get the amazing support champion Deliana simply by logging in and playing for seven days between now and July 20th. And promo code MYDELIANA will power her up like crazy. Be sure to download Raid by scanning the QR code on screen or heading to the link in the description below. New players will get a free starter pack worth almost $30 to kickstart their game, including a free champion Ina, 200,000 silver, one XP boost, one energy refill, and one ancient shard. You'll find rewards here for 30 days only. Nice work. I gotta say you do a much better job of this than I did before you came along. Oh, stop it. And by that I mean, please continue to praise me in all opportunities. Ta-ta! Uh, random markings. That kind of looks like an Ultra Ball. Uh, now it doesn't. You know what? I, at uh, the risk of over-designing it, I think I'm gonna call it here. And we're gonna call it, uh, training. Cause it's a ninja in training. This one would need an evolution. That's the whole point. This is a, this is a baby one. You, as you can see, he's very small. And he also has stylish blue and yellow parts of his color scheme, just like me. As you can see, I am selling new merch at mnjtvmerch.com for a very limited time. We've got this cool zip down hoodie, which I really like. And then if you zip it down, oh, look at that. There's a t-shirt with my name on it. It's been a while since I've sold anything with just mnjtv on it. You can get these at mnjtvmerch.com for a very limited time. So if you want one or both, Add the link in the description below and pick one up while you can. A sea creature that I'm genuinely surprised we don't have a Pokemon of yet is the Orca, because those things are badass. Well, I guess Kyogre is like somewhat inspired by an Orca because it like has the spot and stuff like that. But like, I'm talking like, I don't know, just an, okay, another one, all right? And you know what would make Orcas even more badass? If they could walk. Okay, so this looks cool, but it looks kind of just like an Orca that can walk and I need to figure out a way to make it more Pokemon, a different color. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Realized it needed a tail. That looks like a Maybe just, maybe just more markings? And maybe it's eyes like glowing red. So it's like really menacing. Red stripes. It's the blood of its enemies. Wait, blue and red, that's, that's also like Kyogre. Well, I, uh, I feel silly for doing it again, but I feel like yellow works well. You know what? I should stop it there. I should just, I should just leave it there. This is the Pokemon and its name is going to be Orcane. Maybe this is a pseudo legendary. It's very rare. It spends most of its time in the water, but it can come onto land. It's water and fighting or dark. If it fights to defend sea creatures, it's water fighting. If it's just a jerk, then it's water dark. I feel like some of my ideas are actually turning out like kind of decent, like kind of cool. I just can't draw. So if there's any Pokemon that I've drawn so far or ones that I draw after this and you're a talented artist and you want to redraw them, send them to the subreddit. Meme reviews next week and uh, fan art of some of these Pokemon, these fake Pokemon uh, could end up in the video if you make it. All right, flying and I'm going to make a Team Sky Pokemon. Everybody's making fun of Air Bud for being a dog on Team Sky. But we're gonna make a flying dog Pokemon. And he's gonna have big ears. <laughs> Look at that, isn't he cute? He flies with his big floppy ears. And we're gonna make him green for Team Sky. Oh my God, why did, where, where's the leak? This one is, uh, this one's pretty simple, but you, I don't wanna, I, well, you know what? All right, we'll do it. We'll do some Team Sky accent colors. How about that? I mean, yellow belly, but Team Sky colors, <laughs> It's just, it's Rayquaza colors. <laughs> and a collar, there you go. And we'll call him a Flop Flap. Because his flops flap. Uh -huh. Next up we've got Grass, and I think I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a Smoliv evolution, because that sounds fun. I'm picturing an olive shape with olive arm hand things. There's a little olive head things. All right, now those look like olives. We gotta have the Smoliv face, 
And then I picture it scuttling around on like the plant, like the plant that was on the top of its head is now on the bottom. And then everywhere it goes, it oozes olive oil. That olive oil that comes out of small Olive's head, now it just oozes everywhere. But these red spots are also cannons. I can fire the olive oil. I'll spray it out like a geyser. And maybe he's angry. Because it was so scared as a baby, and now it's grown, and it's powerful, it's olive cannons. And maybe instead of grass normal, it's grass fighting. And its new name is Brawlive. <laughs> I like it. I, I, I think this will be fun. Especially just the olive oil cannons for hats. Okay, so next is poison, and I kind of want to make a poison dart frog. I know that Krogonk and Toxicroak are partially based on poison dart frogs, but like, they're not colorful enough. They're kind of just like a dark blue and black, like a little bit of orange slash red. But like, I've seen some poison dart frogs at the zoo recently and they are very vibrant. So I'm gonna make a very brightly colored, really cute frog. This Krogunk, we love him, we respect him, he's not cute. Okay, so we got the cute frog body and now I just need to make him a poison dart. Okay, so we got a cute little frog. And now we just need to make him vibrantly colored. Maybe we could do multiple. There we go. Now it's got darts. The top, of it, it's like a poison dart. It can shoot those off. All right, there we go. And it can come in multiple vibrant colors. What is its name? We'll call it Dartoad. I feel like that's pretty, pretty good. Electric, 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 electric. You know, I feel like we have a lot of turtle Pokemon already, but we could always use more, because who doesn't like turtles? So here's what I'm thinking. It is a sea turtle that just hovers on land via the use of electromagnetism. And its shell is a big battery, which I'm realizing I should have made cylindrical. Hold on. Yeah, another electric type with levitate. What color should this battery be? Well, there we go. I think this is a pretty simple design, but a cute one. And its name is just going to be Batterty. <laughs> All right, ground. I know I'm doing a lot of like reptiles and amphibians, but like I love those kinds of creatures. So I, I think we should have a horny toad Pokemon. Horned toad, horned toad. So you basically just draw and you just uh, cover in a bunch of spikes. And then um, once again, I've just drawn the animal. What makes a Pokemon a Pokemon and not just an animal? Preposterous shape. We're going to make it an orb. Yes. Yes. A spike ball. That would, this is, this is the base form. It'll be a big one. Wait. Are horned toads the ones that can shoot blood out of their eyes? The horned lizard, horned toads. Okay, they're, they're horned lizards. They call them toads even though they're lizards. But yeah, some of them could shoot blood from their eyes as a defense mechanism. Which we are clearly going to use in this design. And this looks, looks metal. All right, and then do we make his eyes red? You know, I think we do. I don't think it'll actually squirt blood from its eyes because it'll be a bit too intense for a Pokemon, but it, it it has design aspects that remind you of that. We'll call this thing Horn Orb. It's round. It's covered in, in the spikes stuff. Anyways. Okay, so for the psychic one, I'm thinking we make a crystal ball Pokemon because that would be cool. So I really just need a circle and we fit. Why? Okay, there we go. It's not a perfect circle, but it's close enough. Ooh, let's do a fancy brush. Ooh, oh man, this makes me feel like a real real artist. Gotta speckle in some stars here. And of course we need eyes. Yes. And then something else, make it not just a ball. There we go. It has a it has a, a curtain, a tablecloth, a, a cape, whatever you want to call it. I think I want to give it a mouth. There we go. Let's do some shading on here because I'm feeling professional. There we go. I think this thing's cute. It floats around. The inside changes. Maybe it changes colors when it, it's different emotions. We'll call it prophecy. <laughs> what if there was a goat or a bighorn sheep? That was a rock type. Cause they're like really good at hopping along rocks. I've made its legs entirely too long, but I'm rolling with it. I also have no idea what kind of tail these animals have. <laughs> okay, I've drawn a 
weird big horn sheep and I make it a Pokemon by making its horns made of stone. There you go. It's got rock horns and rock hooves and rock. Uh, I don't know. It has an extra pair of legs to better hop the rocks with. There we go. And we're gonna call it parkorn, which sounds like golfing with a vegetable. Is corn a vegetable? But it's parkour and horn. They're experts at hopping along the cliffs. Got stone in their hooves and horns. Maybe whenever they knock a rock loose, it gets absorbed into its body. That's what I'm going with. An ice type, I feel like has to be a moose. We need a moose Pokemon. We don't have one. This is gonna be my ice type. Now, just to sort out how I make an ice type moose without just copying other artists' ideas. Never mind. I'm not gonna make the ice type the moose. I'll do that with a different animal or a different type. Do we have a snow leopard Pokemon? I don't think so. Maybe I can do that. I'm giving it big poofy feet because snow leopards have big pad paws to help it walk on the snow better. What did I do? What did I do? I gotta draw over this stupid line again. I traced over every line in the freaking area. Finally, I could, where was the hole? Where was the hole? What the heck? Just draw solid lines. Ah! I hate art! I've slouched so far in anger. Oh my god, it should not have been that difficult to color this freaking cat! But these look more simple than they would if I had uh, time and talent. But basically I picture its spots as snowflakes. Okay, there we go. After quite the struggle, I have created a snow leopard Pokemon. I'm calling it Lepoud. Leopard and powder. Sounds like Elmer Fudd saying leopard. <laughs> Next we got bug. You know, I saw this moth on TikTok the other day. I think it was called like the comet moth and it looked so cool. I think I'm just gonna make it as a Pokemon. And by that, I mean, I'm just gonna try and draw it because it already looked like a Pokemon. This isn't exactly what it looks like. I'm kind of drawing it as if it's like wings are folded up all the time. I've drawn like kind of a top down view so you can't really see his legs, but he's got little legs under here. Maybe we'll add some tassels. Yeah, some other decorative lines. And there we go. We've got a cool moth thing. I know we have multiple moth Pokemon, but the, the moth was so cool. Like the comet moth, it looks cool. All right, time for the dragon type and I'm gonna make a cockatrice Pokemon. A cockatrice is basically a wyvern or wyvern, however you say it, which is just a dragon with two legs and two wings but it's got a rooster head. So I've basically drawn a basic one. I just need to make it a bit more interesting. Maybe I'll give it hands. Maybe I'll have the feathers be on its, uh, more of its body. Well, I, uh, I've certainly drawn a chicken. Maybe I just need to commit to a color scheme that isn't natural, but makes it more like a Pokemon. What, why does it do that? Now it just looks really Christmassy. I don't know how this color fill thing works. I did that by accident, but I kind of like it. You know what? Let's leave it. I, uh, it, it doesn't look bad. Like the dark purple with the red? Huh, all right, sure. We're calling it Hawkatrice, because that sounds cool. What should be a ghost? What if it's like some kind of cursed idol? A golden statue like that Indiana Jones would want, but it's actually just impersonating those? I gave it kind of the headdress like Cusco because <laughs> I thought that looked fun. And its eyes are like all spooky. Yeah, I kind of like this. Like its eyes don't always look like that. They look like that once it's inflicting its curse. False scourge. I like this idea. I'm very proud of it. Now for the dark type, uh, which really just requires that the Pokemon is kind of a jerk. So this will be my moose. I've drawn the basic outline of a moose with like extra spiky horns, but now to make it like even more like intense and dark, I'm gonna give it mandibles, which is a bug trait. I'm also wanting them on my moose. I no idea how to draw the other side. I think that was close enough. I'm also gonna give it not wings, but like horns on its back that kind of look like wings, just for like extra intimidation. Why do I even try? Okay, and now the horns are gonna be 
Um, I don't know, maybe red? Oh, this moose looks mean. And then let's add some markings for uh, visual variety. Maybe his hooves are also red. And he just has like red, like accents throughout his fur. We'll call it Do Moose. Glorious. Now it's time for steel, which should really be called the metal type. And because of that, I'm inspired to make a steel type Pokemon that is not made of steel, it's made of copper. Those of you who are Minecraft fans, you might remember the mob vote from uh, last year, earlier this year, I don't remember. But uh, the copper golem was one of them and it lost and people were really upset about that. So this Pokemon is going to be an homage to that. It's not gonna look exactly the same, but it's gonna be a Pokemon copper golem. Okay, there we go. He's very cubic, which is fine. And maybe he has some wires sticking out. And of course we have to add a little bit of oxidization. Maybe, maybe his eyes will be oxidized. Okay. I mean, he's pretty simple, but I think he's cute. I think he could evolve into a much bigger one, like a, like a Golurk type. Pokemon, we'll call it Kopmaton. It's not the best word play, but I feel like it works. Last one, fairy. Part of the reason I like Grimmsnarl is because it's a fairy type that's not like cute or pretty. So I want to try and create a Pokemon that's similar. I know this is kind of random, but uh, I'm gonna make it a giraffe. <laughs> Just cause like the only giraffe Pokemon we have is giraffe egg. Whoa. What the? What did I do? Okay, I clearly didn't draw this thing to scale, but you're gonna have to live with it. There we go, we had no the pink and where's the gap? There's no gap. I can see the whole thing. What is this feature? It's so dumb. Okay, so I've made a pink and white giraffe. Do I need anything else? Giraffes have really long tongues. And this tongue is magical. Anything it grabs with its tongue, it's like magic. <laughs> oh God, I need to end this video. I think a name here is pretty simple. It's just, uh, it's just Magiraffe. Magic Giraffe. And there they are, all 18 of the Pokemon that I designed today. If you wanna make some fan art, that's actually good art. Send it to my subreddit for a chance to be in the next meme review. Pokemon meme review? Pick up a hoodie or a t-shirt at mnjtvmerch.com while you still have the time. And thank you so much for watching. With an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon, who are helping support my channel independent of fluctuating YouTube ad rates. If you wanna help support me in the same way, the link's in the description below. And if you wanna check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend these videos here. All right, that's all I have for now. So until next time, events. Gotta catch them all.